Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to make these natural ethno seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. By the way, if you think this part is difficult, you could do only this part. For the beginners, uh, this one won't be a problem for sure. So it's up to you what you want to make. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. In this way, you will be notified when I post absolutely free to similar tutorials like this. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is an amazing and great support that you're giving me and I can't thank you enough for this. You could also check description for full list of materials, links to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 ounce seed beads. I use black, yellow, orange, red, light green and green. And I'm also using here these three millimeter pearls. I use six of them. You could do these earrings without them, but I prefer to add them. It's more beautiful. And here I'm using earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches, 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. Uh, this is size 10 beading needle. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I use if I need to go through the difficult bits, but they are not obligatory. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I want to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. I'm sliding those down just like this. And here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then what I want to do is to make just one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Now guys in my next step I want to go through the following two black beads. Take two red beads and go back in circle through these two black beads that I'm exiting out of. You see, I have a loop between these two black beads and these two red beads. And when I pull, I have this. Then I go in the next two black beads. Okay, I'm exiting after the second black bead. And I take two red beads and I go back in circle through these two blacks. Then go in the next two, repeat this. And I'm going to do this guys until the end of this row. So what I want to do next is exit through this red one here. Okay, now I'm in my next row. And what I want to do now is to flip my work because I prefer to go in this direction. And I take two orange beads, one yellow and two orange beads. And as I'm exiting through one of the red beads, I'm going through the other one and pull. And after I pull, 
I tighten this one up and I take one black and I go in the next red one and I take two orange beads, one yellow and two orange and as I'm going through one of the reds I'm going in the other one as well a black next red one the same sequence next red one a black first red and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'm adding my last black here in the orange, in the red, sorry. Okay. Then what I want to do next is go through these two orange beads. Through these two oranges. Take three yellows and skip the yellow that's on the top and go in the following orange take two black beads and go in the same place here in this second orange counting from the center the orange that is next to the yellow that is sticking out three yellows skip this one that's sticking out the most the central one take two black beads and go in the second orange counting from the center three yellows two orange uh, two black go in the orange and i will continue this until the end of this row Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm going here in the first yellow and I want to take three red beads and I skip the one that's sticking out and I go through the following yellow. Three dark green beads go in the first yellow. three reds skip the yellow in the center and go in the following three green beads go in the first yellow three red beads exiting out of the first yellow go in the third so skip the second one three green beads okay and continue this until the end and meet me here okay and here i am where i just added the last three beads from this row now what i want to do is to make an additional row and how i do this i exit out of the first green bead Take three light green beads and as I'm exiting from the first one, I skip the second one and I go through the third one. 
this is what I have. Then again, I want to reach the first of these three green beads here that are on my way. First one of the three, I go through it. Take three green beads, light greens, keep the one that's on my way. And I go through the following green and through the yellow. Okay. Then in the next three, two yellows and one green. Three light green beads and repeat the same thing. Okay, and I will continue this until the end and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three green beads from this row. Now, what I want to do is go in this direction. And I want to exit through one of those red beads here. Now I'm going to take 10 green beads. Okay, I have my 10 here. I'm going to slide those down. Okay, then I'm going to take one of these three millimeter green beads and I'm going to slide it down as well. Okay. And now I'm taking black, red, orange, yellow and green. And as I'm exiting here, I go back here through this bead in circle. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to repeat this. Okay, I take this sequence again. And I go through this ball here. And again. And again. And again. And this is the sixth time and the last. Okay, now my bowl is ready and what I want to do next is take three red beads. I'm going to slide those down and I don't go through them but I go through the bowl here. So skip them, don't go through them, but go directly through the bowl. Okay. Now I have this. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is to go through six beads. You see one, two, three, four, five, six beads. Okay, I have this, then take five light green beads, slide those down like this, skip the one that, the last one, skip the last one and go through the following. So I'm not going through this one, I'm going through the next And when I pull, I have this. So I skip this one and go through the following. Then I take three red beads and here I go through the last dark green.
okay then i'm going through all of those beads in this direction and i'm back in my flower so what i want to do next is go in the yellow one then go in the next red one okay just like this now i'm in a position to make my next row okay guys and now what i want to pick up are 13 beads plus my pearl and what i want to do is to slide those down now i'm going to pick up the familiar sequence black red orange yellow and green pull this tight and go back through this pearl now i'm going to repeat this six times in total so five more times and i'll be back okay guys and i have I just did all the six rows and I have three green beads on my needle and I'm going to slide those down just like this. Then I'm skipping them and I'm going through this ball here. Okay, then in my next step after I went through the ball, I want to go through four beads in this direction and pull. Then take five of those beautiful light green beads, slide those down, skip this one that is that is the first one when I come from here. And go through the second one then pull tight and take three more light green beads and go here in this green one dark green you see and I have my second leaf ready now i'm going through all of those beads in this direction and pull and what i want to do is exit here through the first light green bead that's on my way okay and fr from here i'm ready to start my next row okay guys and i have my 16 beads on my needle for the next row and i slide those down just like this and what i want to do is to take my three millimeter bead and slide it down again black red orange yellow green go back to this one and make six rows in total like this one okay guys and i i added all the six rows with black red orange yellow green then i add these three beads that i add at the end okay just like this these three but i don't go through them and i go back it is absolutely the same thing that i showed you before now here i want to go through five beads one two three four five and i want to take five of the light green beads slide those down skip the last one and go in the next 
like I did before. Take three beads. And go in this one. Okay, in the fifth one. And pull. And I'm going back through all of those beads. Here I didn't tighten up this one, so now it's the time to tighten this one up. And you see how they move like a life, and I like this effect. Now I want to go here at, and exit through all of those beads at the other side and attach my earring fighting. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm here at the opposite red one to this one here where I attached these um, decorations. And now what I want to take is one black my earring finding and one black bead. And as I'm exiting from this red that I repositioned my thread to off camera, I go like this and I attach my earring finding here. Then what I want to do is reinforce this joint one more time or if you can several more times. Okay, when I'm ready, I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I make my knot, I make here a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull Then what I want to do is go through the following seed bead or two seed beads and cut my thread. Okay guys, and now my natural ethno style seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more tutorials like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. In this way you will be notified for similar absolutely free tutorials. You could also check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful design that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook page. A lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one goes with great perks that you could check also in the link in the description. Thanks to all of you that stayed with me here until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.